Today we're going to talk about how to incrementally port an embedded C project uh, to ZIG. Um, and for this example, we're going to use um, a repo called demo nrf52 perifs, which is um, a public repo that we'll post a link to. And it's just a simple shell that runs on uh, over UART on an nrf52 dev board. Um, so to start, let's just see what the baseline functionality is here. Um, I need to build it. logger to uh, flash my board. Um, okay, um, and we'll start a new tab and um, open up a UART session to that board. Set it. Okay, I'm coming back here. Okay, so it just is, like I said, a simple shell. You can print hello world. Um, you can turn LED on or off and toggle it. Um, and uh, stream IMU data. Um, there's nothing connected right now, so it's all zeros. Um, but that's the board right now. Uh, okay, and so what we're going to try to do is incrementally port this to Zig. So how do we do that? Um, let's let's get another tab here. Um, first, we'll make a directory, zig. Um, and first thing we're going to do is we'll create it as a library to replace the shell functionality. So we'll initialize a library, easy enough. Um, so let's look at the code that was generated there. So that gave us a build.zig as well as uh, a simple main placeholder. Um, We'll change this to zig add, just make sure we don't conflict there. Um, and so I can run zig build test. Okay, test pass, that's good. All right, so first thing we'll need to do is tell it that we want to cross compile. Um, so to do that, we're going to need to um, set a different target. By default, it's going to be just your host. Um, so down here, we can do lib.set target to target, and we need to define what target is. Um, oops, const target equals, okay, so um, we're gonna use zig cross target structure, and we're gonna initialize it with uh, a couple fields here. Um, we'll need to put in a CPU arch, uh, an OS tag, placeholders right now, um, an ABI, and a CPU model. So let's figure out what we should put there. Um, so coming back here um, to where I ran make, uh, what I'm gonna do is run make again verbose uh, so we can see all the flags that are being passed to our compiler. Okay, there's a lot there. Uh, I'll just grab one of these. Um, okay, so let's also clean that up a little bit. Um, replace that. Oops. Um, I'm going to replace dash i, space dash i, turn that into new lines. Okay. Um, so we'll see down here, um, we've got some CPU. So the CPU is a Cortex M4 using thumb um, and the float, uh, the hard float ABI. So coming back here, um, CPU arch is thumb. Uh, we don't have an OS, so we're just freestanding. Um, we're not going to link with libc uh, provided by zig. Um, the ABI is the GNU eABI hard float and CPU model. We know we want a M4, um, but what value do we put here? 
If we come back here, this is the zig repo. I'm just going to scan the code here. Um, I think it's in build slash arm dot zig. Nope. Um, arm dot zig target target slash arm dot zig. Um, uh, M4 is called Cortex underscore M4. Makes sense. Um, okay, so we need uh, cross target dot CPU model. Um, and we're going to explicitly um, say what we have here. Okay. All right. Okay, so now we've set our target. Um, let's try building it again. Okay, so it's still built, that's good. Um, if we look at zig out um, slash lib, lib zig. I'm gonna change the name to zig shell just to make it a little more clear um, what it is. And let's remove the old one so we don't get confused. Um, okay, so we have a little zig shell. That a that's good. All right, and now um, so as we saw before, we have this zig add function that's being exported. So how do we make our shell use it? So if we come over here to shell dot c, um, let's do a forward declaration of that. So in thirty two zig add. So we need to declare the prototype so the compiler knows what it's doing. And let's just add another function here. So we'll say s is print a sum. And that lines up, that's nice. Um, so let's find out where those are handled down here. Okay, so we'll just do s is going to print a sum. Um, let's let's keep that UART transmission, and um, we're going to want to sprint f. I'll just copy paste an existing one here. All right, sprint f into buffer. Um, say sum is something um, sum, and we'll say sum equals zig add 40 and 42. Okay, so, um, and we'll wanna use the correct buffer here and the correct size there. All right, so our code should compile now, but we're going to have linker errors because it still doesn't know where to look for zig add. Um, I haven't, oops. Um, if I come back to my build directory, if I run make, uh, undefined reference to zig add because I never told CMake where to look for that. Um, so if we come back here, this is our top level CMake list. Um, so let's add a new link directory here. Uh, project source directory slash zig slash zig out slash lib. Um, and then we're going to add a library, um, zig shell. Let's try that again. Add links, okay. And now let's flash our device again. Okay, let's reset it. Okay, and let's come back over here and print our menu again. And then we have a new, oops, a new command, print a sum. So let's do that. Sum is 42, all right, it adds correctly.